Hello everyone, and thanks for joining me here, guys. Uh, my name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover. Let's continue playing as the U.S. of A. in our Democracy Edition of Hoi 4. So, at the end of last episode or so, or sometime last episode, I can't remember, it's been 24 hours or so for me, at least. Oh, whatever. Um, I wanted to see what countries or where a lot of my viewers come from. Now, I checked and I don't think I can actually, I can't pull up a uh, picture here of where most of my viewers are from. But I have the top five countries from where you all come from. Now, of course, number one, I am an American, so number one for me is the United States. That is by far the largest group of uh, where y'all, or where the viewers, are from. Um, second place is, I guess, maybe not so surprising, seeing as they also speak English there, and amongst a few other things as well, that being the UK. It's like, the UK is the second place in the world where who watches my videos, you know, the place where they're from. Third was actually a little surprising. I have never played as this country before. Well, on this channel. I've never played as this country on my channel before. And it's actually kind of interesting to see that for number three, from where my viewers are from, is from Belgium. I've never played as Belgium. Uh, I heard they got good waffles. I've had some Belgian food before, but it's very interesting to figure that out. Very, very... It's a place where I wouldn't think of. I think of maybe somewhere else. Maybe, oh, I don't know. Who, who else speaks English? Maybe South Africa, maybe. Uh, I don't know. But that's really interesting. Fourth. Fourth, I could see being, um, being very true, very real. Uh, actually, do we have all of our guys down here? Yeah, they're, they're still moving down here. Good. But for the fourth slot, for my viewers, or viewership, comes from, not the land down under, on the opposite side of the world down under, called Brazil. Now, I have played as Brazil. I think it was in Kaiserreich. I played as the Brazilians, being very organic. Wait, wait, wait. But, that was a really cool thing as I got the fourth largest group of people I have watching me is from Brazil. So that's really cool. Shout out to all those Brazilians. And fifth, but very much not least, it was kind of close with Brazil, but not really. Maybe a little bit. Regardless. The fifth place for where all of my viewers from, which I literally just checked before I started doing this video here, is from another place that's not English speaking. It's called Poland, which doesn't exist in this timeline anymore because the Germans took it over, which is very cool. I did not think that the Poles would be the fifth largest group that actually watched me. And we lost this. Oh, God, no. That's not good. That's very interesting. Um, you know, I played as the Poles like way back last year. Um, might have even been a year and a half ago. I can't remember. I did play as a Poles. I said, and for the thumbnail, I know I put in as like, this is not a Polish guide or something because it was a slightly different meta back then, but, you know, whatever. It was just kind of interesting to see that, hey, the Poles are actually watching my videos. And of course, we have other honorable mentions. People also watch from South Korea. In this timeline, it's just called Korea. Uh, I actually have a few people watching from Hong Kong, so shout out to everyone from Hong Kong. Let's see. Indonesia was another one. France, of course. I can't remember if Italy was on there. I'm sure they are. Uh, Australia, a little bit. Austria, which is just part of the German Reich in this camp campaign. Uh, so, where else? Maybe Spain? I can't remember everything else. Bosnia and Herzegovina also were quite a few viewers. Not a bunch, but there was also some... So also some viewers from there. And Turkey. I forgot about Turkey. They're like one of my least viewed countries from. But they still have a few viewers from there, so that's actually kind of cool. Regardless, I've talked enough about an alternate timeline, which is our timeline right now. We have this timeline to deal with. And I've been honestly not thinking at all about the next couple episodes. Or I'm not, not the next couple episodes, but what I mean is the next campaign. Oh my gosh, where did the Germans go? It's like when you're playing as Germany and the French are trying to defend the Magonaut, but then you realize, where'd their divisions go? Germany, where are your men? You have up to 1.5 thousand men. And a lot of manpower. More manpower than I do, which we are still mobilizing in. Which is very good. But, uh, where did... Like, are you, like, doing resistance suppression or something? Or are they all, like, on vacation to Mallorca or something? Or are they getting sunk? Maybe they're getting all sunk. 
Uh, regardless, let's do the Norwegian Sea. I know it's not really close to Germany at all. I'm trying to avoid mainland Europe with all their planes. But surrounding Iceland, uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe they got some supplies up here. Maybe they got some ships that are repairing. But regardless, we are doing a great job. And I've really not thought about who I'm playing as next. I Maybe I'll play as... I, I don't know. I don't want to play Kaiserreich right? just because it gets extremely laggy and... I love Kaiserreich, but it's... I don't think it's been updated yet. That's, I think, my biggest deal. Just not really been updated yet. Actually, uh, actually, we can have two groups. Not all carriers. Let's get see. Let's give them three light cruisers and a couple destroyers. There you go. Uh, that's, you know, one capital ship and eight screens. But, yeah, screw it, whatever. I'm worth it. Actually... Fine. Oh, now you're fully at 10. You're fully at 10. Everyone's going to do that. And everyone's going to do that. Alright, so, which means, actually, Task Force 16, you could use a carrier as well, as well as the Fleet 5. Hmm. So I don't want to really go overboard with the number of Task Forces, because you'll probably lose a portion, a percentage of your traits here. I don't mind adding in more to each fleet, but the traits, I don't want to lose. There's two, one, one, one. I might add it to Task Force th uh, 13. 13 probably looks good. It's right here. Yeah, Task Force 13. This is a little stronger with more light cruisers. Let's put them in Task Force 13. So you will come over here. Yes, 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 yes. And Task Force 13. Three, four. Oh my gosh, y'all got to heal. 13 and this. Merge together, guys. And that way they'll have a capital ship. This is a pretty strong group right here. I really don't mind having too many carriers for this. Just because, honestly, this feels like a too many destroyers. But whatever. It's just that, individually, they might come across German ships. Or, you know, Axis ships. And there might not be enough time to strike an enemy if you have one carrier but three more carriers coming in or five more carriers coming in just because I want to make sure that in the initial moment when you make contact with an enemy ship that you are ready to send out planes to murder anyone coming your way that's really my goal here and I don't and it's end game it's 1949 we're not going to continue this campaign too much longer we've exerted our American dominance we've spilled more than enough American blood for the next couple generations but definitely not as much as the Axis Oh, let's see, we sunk some German convoys. See, uh, yeah, some Icelandic convoys. How many divisions do you have, Iceland? Are you getting supplies? Oh, they have none. We got some manpower. They're probably getting some supplies to work with. Hmm. Thank you, Filipinos. You are a great addition to our military, which you're honestly probably not going to see very much action of whatsoever. All right. Uh, the Japanese are still trying to fight here, but they're not doing very well. They're actually dying from lack of supplies, which I would argue that the AI really needs to be taught how to build up supplies or how to increase the number of supplies they can put in because 22 divisions here is too much for a level 2 province obviously over here they just are holding on to their port very strongly and actually I'm gonna build them up I'm gonna make sure that I don't know perhaps Italy will be concerned with these guys the Japanese down in Africa maybe distract them a little bit we'll see what happens even though they are Japanese, I mean... Oh, that's a terrible idea. Japan, no. No. Okay, so they got two divisions. Three. Okay, three divisions. Th that might be enough to hold them off. That's why I built these forts here. That's really cool. I'm paying so much more attention to this front than my own American fronts. Ugh. Terrible. I know, right? Just don't be... T okay, so that that's better. Okay. Whew. Good job. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Oh, you're actually winning the battle here. Finally, you're killing some Spaniards. Oh, very nice. So, yeah, the next game... I'm going to have to take a look at the mods after this uh, video. I might even not might not even play with the mod. I might just play someone else. Maybe Mexico? I mean, we already are based in the Western Hemisphere. Maybe not. Maybe I'll try the Netherlands. I don't think staying democratic as the Netherlands because would be very good because I'm not great with them. I've played as the Netherlands before in one of my campaigns. i played as a fascist Netherlands. And it was tough as balls. Eventually, uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Actually, 
it wasn't as tough as balls. What I'm thinking of right now is that it was fairly easy when you exploit the German AI to help take territory from enemies and help you reunite the Benelux. But, okay, so I'll be honest with you guys, my first idea when playing a country, when Man the Guns came out, was to play as the Netherlands because I did it before. But after seeing how the German AI is just so freaking strong, even though right now they they don't seem strong, but they, they steamrolled all of Europe until I showed up. I, I could play as the Netherlands, I might play as them, but if I play as the Netherlands, I'll, I, I don't want to say I want to go fascist, because that's that's a little supposedly easy with this, you know, gangbuster German AI, but I might just play as a fascist Netherlands, maybe. Hey look, you guys aren't actually suffering from lack of supply, and actually this is going to be a problem here. Oh, we're going to need some air bases. Just because they have a ton of divisions down here, and we're going to need some close air support. I can finally, hopefully, use close air support now, finally. That'll be great, 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 great. We got a lot of planes to get rid of. Close air support 100. Oh, two. Level twos. Ah, oh, level threes, yeah. Let's go with this. I need some good old boys here. Good old boys. Uh, that's fine. Uh, are they almost... Yeah, they're almost done deploying. Redeploying. Deploying, whatever. Ah, oh, coffee's always good, isn't it? Very good thing to have coffee. Awesome. And I'm going to also add in a couple more heavy fighters just because we will be going to Africa. That's, oh my god, almost 25,000 <sighs> heavy fighters. Jesus. American Air Force. You gotta love them. You have got to love the American Air Force. So good. And I'm going to wait to split these guys up as well. Even though we are trying to build up the airbase as fast as possible. There you go. Uh, do you guys have... Oh, you're in the Caucasus region. You're not doing very much. You just can be added there. Ah, screw it. Add a couple more close air support fighters. Twos, level twos. There you go. There you go. Mexico. Alright. We could attack. We could attack. But this guy says... There's no point in attacking. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, they have a lot of divisions... I will attack if we have, like, just an extreme odd chance of winning with an extreme number of fighters. Or, you know, close air support, bombers, tactical bombers, that type of idea. Actually, I should probably put down some, some, uh, strategic bombers. I'm going to save these fighters just because I'm still using wings of fighters. That looks good. Naval bombers. Uh, I don't really need naval bombers, but I'm going to keep those. Carrier naval bombers we can get rid of because we have plenty of in reserves. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of these. They're causing a couple problems. Oh, I'm making jet tactical bombers. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh heck yeah. Oh yeah, that's a weird sound I made. Uh, let's see. Mm, let's see. Um, we don't have that much space up here. Oh, we got space here. Oh wait, I forgot about this naval mine sweeping. <laughs> Our ships get hit a little bit. We we're okay. They'll, they'll just shrug it off. Let's see, Jet, Strategic Bomber 3, Jet Tactical Bombers, baby. Heck yeah. I'm going to put another 200 there. Because we don't have the correct army guy up here. There we go. Alrighty, tighty. I do both. Add you. Excuse me. Thank you. It's a little laggy. But Kaiserich would be so much more laggy as well. So much laggier. Uh, good. Jet tactical bombers. Yes, please. Actually, let's see. Their air attack is 15.3. Agility is okay. Actually, it's not too bad. 48. Naval attack. Ground attack. 15. Please. Rape them from the sky. I mean, that's pretty much what I'm just going to say. I'll be honest about you guys. Honest with you guys. Just rape them from the sky. I mean, make them wish they were never born. T1 heavies. Ah, let's get some Pershing tanks. All right. Those guys are ready and good to go. I'm going to tell you, go ahead when you can. I said when you can. Please. Please. Okay, well, we're kind of winning in some areas. I want to see how much damage we're doing, though. Let's see. Well, nothing and nothing. Oh, that's great. That's great. That is freaking great. Well, 
attacking from multiple directions, and we can pierce the enemy's motorized and light tanks. That's always handy. We are attacking over across the river. Uh, oh, finally, we have some air superiority. Very good. Oh, we're we doing two points of damage. No, I don't understand. I know the higher the number, the better. But, damage done to enemy divisions, I wish there was a way of calculating, like, oh, if you put a hundred tactical bombers doing close air support, this is how much damage they will do if the enemy has no divisional AA or province AA. Even though I don't think province AA really affects um, strategic bombers. Well, maybe it does. I don't think it does. I can't remember. But regardless, I just want to see like if they had no divisional AA and no provincial AA, you know, anti-air. I want to see how much damage that could be doing. Because uh, nine points of damage is pretty good, not going to lie. They have a lot more planes than we do, which is a kind of a concern of mine. But, oh, whoops. There you go. Add a couple more towards Turkey. And, okay, Asia Minor in general. Let's see, uh, do we have any more space here? We got maybe a little bit more space here to add. Maybe 200 more fighters to y'all. Let's see, any more space, space, space. Yeah, we're really running out of space here. I can add probably two more here. Two more, I mean 200 more. There you go. That's going to help us out. But we've been doing a great job anyways, pushing in. Uh, the Italians don't seem to be doing that well. What is the manpower of Turkey? Well, they're becoming more and more fascist. About maybe less than half a million. Half a million, maybe a little less. They got a lot of divisions, though. Not a bunch of ships. I mean, when they joined the war against us, I mean, we, we really hurt them. Oh, crap. This is not good. I need all of y'all to continue pushing. Even though you guys are actually pretty... Pretty tired out, so yeah, you, you guys are doing okay. Don't worry about it. Um, if we continue attacking like this, we're going to suffer more attrition. I'm going to pause it here. What we're going to do, we're going to send this army group over here to plug up any holes. Meet everyone else in the Crimea while hopefully we won't suffer too many supply issues down here. Maurice, please become a logistics wizard even though that won't affect you. And Oscar Griswold already is. Okay then. Trevizon, terrible infrastructure. I guess that's one way to deter an enemy from trying to fight you here. Oh, we can't even build bases, or air bases. Uh, we already have more than enough coverage, so I'm not worried about coverage. Oh, wait. Do we have Kuwait? Japan. Japan. Why did you invade Kuwait? I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad thing to do, but... Good job, Japan. Uh... I guess I'll just put a bunch of guys here. We're building up the airbase, so I don't feel bad about doing this. And with that, I mean, we can add another 800 fighters to Asia Minor. Very cool, Japan. Okay, well, I guess 12, <laughs> 1,200 uh, fighters, so be it then. So many planes. Wow, 6,666. Did you see that? The number of planes they have over here? Holy cow. Yeah, we might not be able to advance into Turkey super quickly. I mean, if you can win, go ahead. But, you know, just, just hold. Just go ahead and hold. Redeploy yourselves. Don't cause too many losses for now. We've already suffered so many casualties. Really, the war against the Axis is European-based. What's going on over here? Oh, oh, the Japanese have more carriers again. Nice. Four carriers, three light cruisers, and 13 destroyers. Can't wait to blow them up. Uh, nothing says America like blowing up a couple of Japanese ships, even though they are my allies. Cool. Very cool. And we are... We're doing all right. You guys, you're just kind of hanging out since the Germans still have quite a few divisions. Us around here, we are honestly getting pretty injured, but it doesn't look like the Germans are... You know, trying to strike back at us too hard. Uh, do I want an upgrade for this guy? I mean, it's a free slot. It's free real estate, basically. Planning speed. Max planning. I don't ever use planning, really. Organization. Reinforce rate. Charismatic recovery rate. Uh, Eisenhower is doing pretty okay, I'm going to say. Compared to... Oh, well, for the most part. Some of these divisions are just really hurt. You know what? Just go ahead and pause. 
MacArthur, go ahead and pause as well. I mean, I don't want you to suffer too many casualties. Let's pause the front lines. Because right now we're out of infantry equipment, which is a big problem for us. And support equipment. I wasn't even realizing that this was a problem. So it's always good to see what how you guys are doing. There you go. Let's see. We're gonna need more things here. I think... I'm thinking... We've got plenty of heavy fighters. That'll be fine. Uh, tactical bombers, eh. I think we got plenty of naval bombers as well. Yeah, we're gonna need a crap into these guys. That'll be fine. M8 mate rockets, very cool. You guys come over here, and we, are at this point, are just kinda going to kind of mostly defend the lands that we've already uh, liberated. Yeah, liberated is that nice L word I'm thinking of. Yeah, liberated. That doesn't mean I'm not going to attack anywhere, but, you know, you know. I'm also going to build up a ton of air bases, so we can really slaughter the enemy when, when we need to. Hmm, yeah, do that. We might need some more support here. Kill it off, and eh, you might as well add it there. Any place need better infrastructure, maybe? Stalingrad, wow, we've, we have we taken Stalingrad? Holy crap. Let's see, Azerbaijan's okay. Or for Kirov, uh, do this just because there's so so many tiles this province will have touched. Sounds kind of weird. Stalingrad is not ours. Oh, they okay. My bad. They called it Hindenburg now, but we knew it as Stalingrad. Sorry, it's in you know the name changes every fifty so years. Whatever. Ah, uh, Hindenburg. What a nice town it is. It'd be a shame if the Americans put a strategic bomber close by and nuked it all to hell. Oh no. Don't say it so. God dang it. Keep pressing control. There you go. Uh, let's see. Actually, before I move on, get back to this slot here. Add in 200 more jet tactical bombers. Uh, actually, air support's not bad. I could use more close air support overall, though. Is why I'm building up a ton of air bases. They must be thinking, what are the Americans doing? Why are they not pushing? Well, they're not crazy. Well, the Americans are crazy, but they're not suicidally crazy. We're not, you know, Italy or Spain. We're not Chileans. No, no, no. They're crazy. The Chileans are nuts. They'll literally send all their soldiers to invade every island that the enemy has. They're absolutely crazy. Absolute mad lads. That's what they are. Uh, get another fighter group up here. Um, 200 is not a lot. Asia Minor, we're still... Whoa, whoa, we're taking a lot of losses. Jesus. That's not good. How are our tanks? We are telling them to reheal as well. You know, get a couple more guys in there. Don't be too aggressive right now. We're just gonna kind of play it cool, play it kind of nice. Oh, they are attacking like crazy. Bunch of rabid animals, that's what they are. Oh, we're actually losing a battle. Oh my goodness. Well, we've definitely found a lot of the Axis forces. Uh, oh man. Can I nuke this place yet? You know, nothing says Stalingrad like a bunch of destruction. Hmm. It took 10 nukes to take everyone out of Singapore. That's only... 11 divisions here, and my coffee's getting cold. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes. Ah, very good. Can we vaporize them? Oh, how is it that even though it says German Reich, the French division manages, manages to survive? How does that happen? How did the French survive 10 nuclear attacks? It's because they researched nuclear technology, that's why. Oh, never mind. Never mind, they didn't exist. You can't tell me that the French ever existed, truly. Never. That would never happen. Uh, what am I looking for? Plane. Oh, jet tactical bombers. It'd be a shame if I didn't increase their bombing capabilities. Oh, well. Hold on, let's see. Uh, we need, I don't want my engine speed to be too slow. Can I do that? That would hurt my reliability. Well, let's just have more reliable planes then. Very cool. Jet Tactical Bomber 2s. Ah, oh, so good. 
And a couple more ships sunk. Three more little minion boys go bye bye. Oh, do we have any spare ships? A couple light cruisers, a couple destroyers, a couple 50 more freaking submarinos. Uh, docked reserve fleet. Cool, very good. Select, add them here, and you shall be doing some convoy raiding like everyone else. Very good, and we're doing all this. I wouldn't mind it. Hmm. Well, let's see. Where are the enemies fighting at? Unfortunately, the Axis has access through Africa regardless of convoys. I suppose I could maybe try the Iberian coast, maybe. Mm. Out of coffee now. That's good for you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, let's try the Iberian coast. We'll see what happens. Senator retired, so we lose more, uh, support. And uh, we'll do medium lobbying effort. That's fine with me. Uh, that's maybe a little more war support. That's not bad. The North American F-86 Saber. Very cool. We're done pretty much with the entire tree here. Awesome. We're done here. Engineering. We'll do some of this stuff that's honestly not, in my opinion, not very good. Nice. 13 German convoys sunk. And we are trying to attack a province. Okay. Saratov. Hmm. Never been there. Never been there. Gorky. Sh sure. Yeah, yeah. Get, get, get some more infrastructure in there, guys. Infrastructure makes the nation. A nation that damages its soil shall not persist? I think that's what FDR once said. Uh, let's see. Uh, your, your odds of winning aren't very good, man. Eisenhower, your odds of winning are actually not bad. I don't mind if you guys do an attack then. Just keep Douglas MacArthur from attacking. He's a rabid animal. He likes to attack. He's got a problem. We know. Just keep him at bay. Nice. We are attacking quite a few Axis ships. Oh. But we have just lost another sub. Um, do that. Engage at low risk. I don't want to lose a bunch of subs. Oh my god. Oh. Where the heck? Okay, so most of you guys are repairing. Okay, so I saw 10 subs out of 50. I'm like, shit, man. Where did you guys go? <laughs> my babies. My poor American sub babies. It's cool. Seven more. Uh, just go ahead and add them here. Uh... That's fine, I don't care. Go ahead and combine, since you're all here. I'm gonna tell you guys, just link up with them. It's fine. Nice. And this is how we're gonna kill a lot of Italians. 26 freaking Italian convoys just not coming home. I'm sorry, kids, but Daddy's not coming home. Mussolini doesn't like Daddy. God, that's gotta be terrible to say to your kids. Uh, let's see, House Committee supports presidential policy. Very good. More political BS. Two divisions we can probably take out. Let's take half, y half of y'all. I don't want to attack too hard since we do have a massive deficit of guns. And tanks. Tank production. Yeah, we've we've been attacking very hard. So let's give it a little bit of a break. Not not a huge break, but whatever. Yeah, it looks like we're not really advancing too much. So I'm going to tell you guys to pause. I don't want to tell you all to hold. So... Kind of hang on there, guys. I know we've taken a lot of casualties. We've taken over almost 11 million. Jesus Christ. <sighs> the Germans. Oh, God. Germans, 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 Shermans. Whatever. Let's see. Yeah, we could continue pushing these guys, but... We're going to let the Axis feel like they're, they're, they're trying to win. We'll let them attack us a little bit. And waste their manpower and all their goodies. Oh, wait. They're attacking us, but... We can still... Oh, they have... Di they have divisional AA. That's one of the big things about this new AI. I call it new, but it's basically a month old at this point. The Germans absolutely love anti-air. And that's actually tearing up a lot of our planes. Uh, what can we do here? Hello? Ah, oh, Korea, sure. I, yeah. Korea, yeah, you're going to work with us very, very closely. Oh, they are attacking us. Hello there. You are a bold one. Very bold. France and German East Indies, which we took you over. Very cool. Yeah, just... I guess keep doing that. I mean, 
You guys are suffering from attrition. We aren't. We know how to build roads. You know, the Germans may have the Autobahn. Where the hell are your divisions? Germans may have the Autobahn, but the Americans... We don't have supply problems. Not too much. We just don't make enough of whatever we, whatever we need. Yeah, that's not a bad area to attack. You can also attack there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to manually do some of this eastern, western front. This is the western front for us. Oh! How many of you guys don't even have... You guys have done so well, you don't even have orders anymore. Alright, nice. Isolatic convoy has been sunk. A couple... 58! Holy shit! That's a, Oh my god. Daddy's not coming home tonight. Oh my goodness. Oh, Jesus. What's going on over here? A couple subs, a couple subs. Oh, that's unfortunate. I lost a couple of daddies. A couple of American daddies have passed, unfortunately. Well, actually, a lot of American daddies have passed, but, you know, they signed up for this. You know, they totally... All of the American daddies volunteered for this, you know. Um, yeah. Enough of that. Can we win here? Probably not. Oh, but they are attacking. Oh, maybe... Yeah, I'll just hold off. Just kind of hold off. We we definitely have to build up our stockpile of guns, support equipment, which we're actually not doing too bad on support equipment anymore. And we're not doing too bad on modern tanks either. Let's balance our tanks out a little bit better here with getting rid of this. Mobile? No. Oh, there's a lot of things we can do for mobile stuff. Modern tanks. That'd be better. So our deficit for modern tanks goes deeper, while our deficit of medium tanks gets a little bit better. Very cool. Oh, yeah, just keep attacking me, guys. You'll win the war if you keep attacking. Just keep telling yourself that. Actually, you know what? Since we're not attacking, let's go ahead and redeploy this line here. All the way up top. And let's, let's check out what everyone else is up to. Uh, oh, oh, we've got... I'm still making divisions? Uh, as much as I want to. We're, I think we're okay for now. I think we're okay. Oh, that might have helped our stockpile of guns. Oh, that did. We got 8,000 more guns. Uh, Japan, you are doing a very oddly good job. What the heck? I'm going to help make sure that you guys don't lose a ton of supply. You can't build any of this. You can't build any of that. Air bases? No, you can't really build anything. But, you know what? I'm going to help them out even further. I'm going to build like a supply base in every single province they've invaded. Just because you never know if the Japanese, or anyone really will help support them with supply issues because AI is still very not fully developed. No, it's better than it was before. I mean, for God's sakes, the Germans are using provincial AA in their or division AA now in their divisions. That's I just what I said was redundant. Regardless, the the AI is definitely improving. It is getting maybe a little bit more difficult to actually win using, you know, pretty easy gamey tactics, but whatever. Whatever. Yeah, you guys are disappointing. Yeah. Oh, actually, not too bad. Uh, scavenger. You know, let's do that. I could use a couple more German guns. I've heard they're pretty good. I've heard they're pretty darn good, depending on, I guess, the manufacturer. Yeah, come over here. Take the take the tiles. Uh, four divisions. Something tells me you you'll do okay. You can't advance really far into Turkey just because we're waiting for more supplies. Uh, air wings are not doing great. And actually, I sent. 25 are down here, so... Let's see. We got space for 400 more heavy fighters. Let's see, y'all. And then, uh, I'm gonna add probably another 400 here. You and you. Oh, no. You will do this. Come over here. I'm gonna split you guys up. That is fine with me. And just... Yeah, just be under his command for now. There you go. There you go. That should help us out a little bit better. A little bit better. Go ahead and add him over here as well. Uh, split him off. Yeah, unfortunately that guy died. 103. No, 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 no. There you go. And 100 more. That'll be good. Oh, and actually you... Yeah, you do that. That should help us out at least a little bit more. But they got a ton of fighters. Jesus. Alright then. Not bad, not bad. We didn't do 
a ton in this episode, but not, it's not too bad. I mean, we definitely have a stronghold on the Caucasus region. We have nuked Hindenburg until it will never come back. And radar-wise, we are still doing a pretty good job, even though we are losing some of the benefits to see potential enemy movements. Let's see, is there anything else we can do around here? Um, improve fire controls. Hold on, I'll do that just a little bit. Improve this. Research the next garbage thing. And take a quick look at two more sunk German convoys. All right. I want to end this episode with a bang. I want to end it with a major bang. I'm not going to vaporize these guys, but... Three. Three, and then... Three. There we go. I want to see this happen, and then we'll do an invasion. Maybe without you guys. Ah, so good. So warm. Just go ahead and come to Krasnodar. 13 divisions. I don't think those guys would really be able to hold up against us. But, you know, you'd be surprised. Surprised that the Germans... The Germans do have nukes. But they're not really using them very much at all. Well, casualties. We've taken 11 million casualties. Well, the Germans have taken 12 and a half by themselves. And remember, our casualties include all of the enemies that we've fought so far in this campaign. Actually, everyone, just get down there. We're gonna end. We will end this episode with us reclaiming all of this and us trying to get to the Crimea. Uh, we've already nuked this place to hell. We might as well do that. Not bad. Don't tell me I'm going to have to teach you another lesson, old man. All right, and we're almost done. It, happy 1950, everyone. Happy 1950. Uh, come on. Come on. Oh, nice, we took it. Oh, we're, we're, we've almost taken it. Almost, almost, almost. Get up here, please, come on. Nice, these guys are encircled. Four German divisions, they won't be able to get home. Very good. But a little bit more pressure. That's a lot of divisions. Oh, I can't nuke it. God dang it, that's so disappointing. And we have almost taken this entire territory over. Come on. Seriously, guys, seriously, come on. I know Americans are fat, but this is taking a while. Oh, thank God. We did it. We finally did it. We did it. Very cool. This is not going too bad. All right, so thank you very much for watching, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. My voice is going now. But we have basically decided, ultimately, to give it a little bit of a break and make sure that our supplies are ready for a major offensive in the coming spring, because it is winter right now, and we will continue dogfighting in Turkey as we advance into Europe. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow, all my viewers from across the world.